I was in that motherfucker every day. And then, um, that's how I met Stevie. Like, because I think that, um, uh, I think that, um, uh, he was he was over there rocking with them with they movement, mm-hmm. so they let me in. I'm hungry. I'm in there recording three, four songs a day. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'm in there before the main nigga supposed to be in there. You get what I'm saying? I done got cool with the engineer, nigga yeah. opening the door and everything. I'm in there. Yeah. yeah. You get what I'm saying? So they coming in there. So um, that's how I met Stevie. Then later on down the line, he was in the studio in like North Oakland, or West Oakland, or something like that. And, uh, he was pressing up his CDs. Okay. You know what I mean? He was fucking. He was like trying to beat him over the head. Yeah. I'm like, nah, bro. Go right here and get it for this. Yeah. yeah. And ever since then, it was cool. He told that. He told that story um, on here. Let me see that lighter corn. He told that story when he was on here uh, about about that. Um, you know that CD story about you yeah. looking over the CD. Yeah, that's me though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like anybody, you know that need help or ever ask for anything, bro. I ain't never denied him. Any of my resources, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just because I don't want to shit on a nigga dream. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, It'd be like, right. I'm the reason why a nigga didn't press his CDs right. and could have sold. But what if the nigga copies, for real re- weak? Like, if you see the nigga really weak, you just got to Shit, I was really weak. Well, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to keep working. And it, we I mean, see you work every, hard every, everybody, years, everybody don't start. Everybody don't start off just. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Really shit ever spoke. Right? Everybody yeah, don't start man. off. Yeah. You gonna keep, I'm telling you, you, you got to stay at it. I'm yeah. telling you, blood. That's that's one of like your number one traits that I like, blood. Because a nigga, a nigga can see how well you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Certain shit you can't fake. But the transparency. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I told Mont that the other night. I said, man, for some reason, I just think blood got a good heart because. Yeah. Like shit, like I mean, I'm skipping ahead. We gonna get to that, but like starting shit, like one mob and all that shit. That shit ain't even really necessary for you. Yeah, you know what I mean. It don't necessarily. Yeah, you I, was, know what I, mean? I was already in a good situation. I didn't, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But I just be liking to see, you feel me? Everybody, everybody eat, especially if you yeah. fucking with a nigga. And, right, you know what I mean? right. So yeah, so going back to the end, when when Phil was telling us, I mean not Phil, when Stevie was telling that story, he said that uh, you know y'all was going in and out of uh, Dame Fame Studio. And uh, he told the story of, you know, like, I don't know if he really didn't want to fuck with him or if he didn't like the music Ooh. or uh, dang fame. He didn't fuck with him. He just didn't fuck with you. Period. Nah, like, not like he was supposed to. So in the hood he did. Some hood shit, he fucked with me. Right. Mm. Let him get into it. He need a hammer, bitch kick him out the house, need the car. He go to jail, nigga writing, all the shit. Right. You feel me? I fucked with him. He was one of the niggas in the hood that, you know, that was doing his thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't take that from him. But... When it came to the music, you know, like I said, like I said about my cousin Chad, he had other priorities on his artists. Right. Now I don't, I don't fault him for that, cause right. them, that's that was what he was invested into. Right. But I felt like by us being from the same hood, and, and any any other time you needed me, I was, you feel me? Yeah. Well, I needed you was something different. But like, I ain't mad at him for the shit. Like that's the whole thing. Like I'm not, I don't give a fuck about that. That made me want to go harder though. Right. I right. sense that though. That yeah. made me want to go harder. All that shit came out later on because if, like, not once did I say anything about the shit until do you feel me to yeah. to, to the incidents or whatever. Yeah. So I, that shit, man. It's it's a lot of niggas and did a lot of fake shit and this shit. Right. You feel me? So right. Yeah. And, and 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 that's one thing that is important for motherfuckers to know too is like y'all's from the same hood. Yeah. You know what I mean? So y'all being from the same hood, it's a little different. Like yeah. you supposed to look out for your nigga cuz I would think so cuz like any nigga from the hood right now, any young nigga coming up, you can see I'm pushing them. Right. Cuz right. they, they they know I'm already in that's like uh like a nigga want to they watch you come here and get his haircut every week. Like man, you got the podcast thing. I'm trying to get into it. You right. just shitting on his dream, like right, right. not even letting him come watch how you do it, right. interview a nigga, nothing. Right. You right. feel me? So I ain't gonna say that he didn't he didn't fuck with a nigga a little bit, but you know he he's always telling me like my biggest regret was not fucking with you. Yeah, you know Y'all once, good once now you start or seeing, whatever. Nah, nah. Is that right? Yeah. So it's like when I when I. Cause when I think about it, I think about it like this. Like I know a lot of niggas in position, right? Yeah. In like good positions, right? We didn't we didn't been in a situation where you know sometimes I tell niggas it ain't even what they do directly for you. Sometimes it's just an alley. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's up to you to dunk the motherfucker and finish mm-hmm. it, right? But when niggas don't do that, I feel yeah. like we from Oakland. But that's what I always said though. Coming up, I was like, I'm not gonna do it how everybody else do it. Right. Like, everything I do, I don't do it like everybody else do it. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? So you know, I was like, man. I believe, you know, karma, you feel me, and keep a nigga blessings coming. How hard is it to look out for a nigga? Nigga come to your show, let the nigga perform. Right, You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Like, all right, like, you know, like, niggas don't look, 
it's like I said in the song, like it's crabs in the bucket, like yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah, that's some real. Ass. Yeah, you got to think ain't about no, it. Can't nobody make all the money. You got to think about it though. You know, motherfucker, see a nigga in the position that he want to be in, and his shit not working for him. Mm-hmm. You know, he want to throw rocks at blood shit. Yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah, because I I feel like the difference be like what be on what be on the flip side of not helping a nigga is prison, dying. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas, if a nigga was on a block with me, like bro, you know, yeah, you know what time. And that's it is. and that would be me because that that could have been my outcome. Right, right. So, that could have been my outcome. And, that, and and a little decision from a nigga thought, but fortunately, you know what I'm saying. You was a hard worker. You yeah. know what I'm saying. You was into that shit and you kept it pushing because now I mean the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So so like um, but being in the lab and coming up around this time, like who else was popping on the scene? Like because like. Uh, we also talked about this with like mechanics and that time like Oakland was in a little weird time at one time like I was from the hood right so I listen to Mac Dre more old Mac Dre I listen to some Mac Dre I listen to but the the hyphy movement shit as a whole I, you know in the hood niggas wasn't you know what I'm saying like yeah. a lot of the shit that motherfuckers from out of town started I, I, I ain't never been a hyphy rapper you get what I'm saying. Not not high feel whatever it is because it's a movement y'all y'all love it I mean I like it I love it right you know what I'm saying it just wasn't me right did you sample part it at it. all ever did you just we, we was part of it because of being from Oakland right side By show default. side show right. on seminary footy every night but our high feel was different like well, I was just talking to somebody about something that happened an incident in a side show before we came here. Uh, no, our our, our hyphy was different. Our hyphy little nigga thirteen with a pistol walking through the crowd like what right. niggas looking at. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Or a nigga having a shootout with the police or some shit right. like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's, and I, I don't know if it's fucked up that that we think of it like that. Yeah. But that's just. But that's what our it was. Is. Hyphy right. had a totally different definition. Like. It was like a, a, a hyperactive nigga, like yeah. an aggressive nigga. Yeah. Like it was like an extra, extra ass nigga. Yeah, it never had like, nothing to do with a dance. So that's I, like the side shows was different. You know what I mean? True, true. The side shows, true. man, me coming up was way different than the side yeah. shows. You had to be clean as a motherfucker. You had to be clean, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now you come through with a in a Datsun with four <laughs> twelve and that motherfucker yeah. doing just yeah. doing stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you go get you go get up. So so what was the uh like when you when you rapping at this time, like you fucking with Stevie, you doing all that. Like, what was the first filthy um, shit that got hella impact? That just had a way where you was like, man, I, uh, I, I'm fucking with this shit. That I represented song, represented yeah. from the mm. bottom to the top. That was kind of like that's know, crazy. I just posted a picture from that video shoot today on my Instagram of me and Stevie at that video shoot. Damn, is that I right? Mean, the transformation. That shit crazy. That shit crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. and I, was, I had I had top and bottom. Iced out, bust yeah, down, yeah. in, chain on, watch right. on, in. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just ain't on level, nigga. Yeah, at right now, but yeah. you know, nigga, been into the same shit. And like you, yeah. to me, like you ain't from Oakland, really. If you didn't see Filthy Rich on Seminary, if you didn't see that nigga, because it ain't, it ain't that a nigga even got to know your name. But yeah. I know niggas that knew you, and they yeah. know that's Phil. You know what I'm saying? But a nigga that don't know that's you, purposely was pop parking cars and shit. Yeah, like I was. I been telling niggas like, bro, I was popping popular before rap. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Just by being from. Certain neighborhoods, a lot of niggas I know that don't rap, but right. well known. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. More than some of these rappers that, you get what I'm saying? So it's, it's different, you know? Especially, you know, certain neighborhoods in Oakland is, is very, you know, popular. It's very know? popular. Right. Yeah. So, you know, then we got, we got Al's right there, we got the VI right there, you, mm-hmm. got, you know what I'm saying? So, Rest niggas there. VI. <laughs> niggas there every night, you know, nigga grinding. Mm-hmm. You gonna see a million bitches pull up, you know what I'm saying? You see a million niggas then why. You know, at one point in time, nigga wasn't old enough to get in the VI and he got outside grinding. Right, right, You know what right. I'm saying? But it's just traffic. It's people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're meeting a lot of motherfuckers that's coming through all day. Exactly. From the Al's to the VI. You know right, right, right. And Boy, this is, this is, uh... To rumors. Rumors on the other rumors side, too. on the other exactly. side. Damn, I forgot about rumors. Yeah, I used to be in all in all <laughs> the right. man, you know? Yeah. I was just getting up in Oakland good then, so... You was just getting to Oakland? But I, I hit the village in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I touched it a little bit. Nigga, that bit. motherfucker, so... Nigga, I remember when nigga, my daddy and them had softball teams at the village in. Nigga, this shit was yeah. real. Yeah. Like, yeah. niggas had a league around this motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, all the balls. All of, man, it was you know what I'm saying? This shit was... Man, come on, man. Man, this shit was... This shit was lit. But, um... So, that was the first shit that had impact. So that's after Gang Wars. Um, keep it real. Mm-hmm. 
I can't remember. I know the album came out after Game Wars. Yeah, that's when I started yeah. fucking with you. Funk or Die skinny. came out in 2009. Yeah. Skinny nigga. What, what, yeah. yeah, skinny with the big T. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but skinny. one thing about that is I know that you, I don't know what your method was for that. I, I always took it like this nigga either a super smart nigga or he pay attention to yeah. the game. Yeah. Like I felt like I felt like in some ways in her because I'll be like a rap nerd. Like I pay attention yeah. to the aesthetics. Yeah. Like what niggas doing at the time. Yeah. How how is it going at the time? And I never and I always seen you always seen them get in pocket. Yeah. With like what niggas had going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh when you did the uh the true religion show mm -hmm. right? And I was just like, this nigga either just like like I say, either really smart ahead of niggas or he pay attention to the game. Like, yeah. wh what is it? Do you like study? Um, I study the rap shit. I feel like you gotta um, eat, sleep, and shit this shit if you want to be successful. Absolutely. In it. Like you gotta do something to deal with music every day. Mm -hmm. If it's getting some artwork done, if it's doing a video, if it's doing an interview, whatever it is, it's plant. Like if it's planning on like me, I used to do it. Like I used to have a calendar. I be at mama house and I said, Mark, the, like this week I want to press my flyers. This week I want to shoot yeah. a video. This week I want to um, press some merch. This week I want to um, do a meet and greet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And mark that shit down when I'm done with it. Stuck I, to your schedule. I, I hope motherfuckers is paying attention because, like, you run around this motherfucker looking at field is super cool. This nigga had a calendar. Man. Mm. Real professional. You know what I'm saying? Now that's super cool. Nah, because, they, you know, at certain times you got to pace yourself. Right. Like I said, a lot of niggas want this shit to happen overnight. But it ain't come for me like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I really work for it. So I, this week I want to do this. This like week I want to. Because at the time, probably, you know, I don't even know if I was having it like that to just be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got yeah. a baby. You know, like I said, I'm a baby mama house. So I got to manage what I got going on, take yeah. care of them, the kids, all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's I don't know, know what the next. Money might be back in jail. Motivation. You feel me? Exactly. And yeah. that's another yeah. thing, too. Niggas that's from the block that so rocks, nigga, like me, rapping is like. Everybody on the block ain't support like cause they ain't rappers. Yeah. Niggas, niggas. No, they ain't had the same dream, but you can't fault them for it because niggas everybody can't rap. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So this they hustle. Like right. I got a lot of niggas like damn near all my niggas don't rap, you feel me? Like as in like from my hood, like some of the younger niggas starting to rap and shit like that. But like I used to be on the block, got a show. And waiting on niggas. Hold on, man. Knock on me. I got to, right. I got to wait for the knock to come. <laughs> right. Leave the server. Then the next thing I'm going to knock on me before right. we leave. I just had to leave. Right. Like, bro, I'm gone, bro. I see y'all if y'all make it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just, right. Just trying to, you know, have your niggas support, support you and shit, though. But that shit come around. Like, the same niggas I'm with, bro, like, from my hood, like, these niggas was from day one. You right. know what I'm saying? So, 